Today I'm gonna show you how to how to work with KML files, how to convert from KML and how to convert into KML file using ArcGIS. Uh, in, in this project I have loaded just the county as a layer file and uh, this layer we we are gonna convert it into a KML file. Now let's go to our toolbox conversions we have we have this section to kml so let's open this and we are going to choose layer to kml now we are going to drag and drop the layer that we want to convert it and uh, here we have the output output path where we where we want to save the kml file i am just going to desktop i have created one folder kml and let's call it county save boom this is finished it is quite easy so just uh, select the layer and export it into kml now we are gonna we are gonna check the folder here we have the county also of stadiums if we double click to the county we see that the now the county are are on the right position and also have, have the label the labels activated they are same as in RGIS. This is about converting from from shapefile into an KML or from feature class into a KML. Now let's let's do the opposite, converting from KML into a shapefile. So I have a, uh, if you see here, I have created some points which are the state the st st stadiums, Wembley, Anfield, Old Trafford, and King Power Stadium. Uh, now we we wanna we wanna convert this uh, these stadiums into a shape file. So I I have sa already saved, but you can you have to save this uh, this data into a into a K KML or, or KMS file. Uh, here we have the stadium. I'm gonna replace it. It is the same thing. Uh, now let's get back into ArcGIS and uh, let's open our toolbox now. Uh, we used two KML to convert into KML, but getting from KML there is an option from KML. So if we open this from KML, we see that there is KML to layer. Double click this, and uh, now we have to input the KML file. We go to the same directory. We choose stadiums, and uh, we specify the folder where we wanna save this. So I am I am taking the same folder as oops sorry So I I I want to save it at the same folder Okay here we are These are the the the, the stad, stad, stadiums that we have saved. Now let's check the folder. What's what has happened into folder? We see that there is a layer file which is already loaded, and there is also a new geodatabase with place markers. Uh, here we are stored the data. In fact, if we if we drag and drop the points, we see that the points are a feature class, a normal feature class. If we open this, we see that we have the structure of KML. Also, the names that we have, uh, I have filled one by one. Theoretically, this is everything that you need to know about converting. But, but we see that uh, RGIS has uh, RGIS has loaded data on the fly. So this point is not using the same coordinate system of uh, of the KML file that we had if if we check it we, we will see that this this file has a wgc4 coordinate system wgc84 coordinate system meanwhile our our county has is is a projected coordinate system so so to have uh, to have the right finalization of this process you have to you have to project this file into the same coordinate system of the zone if you don't know about on which zone are your data, you just go to the Google Earth and 
be sure that you have uh, the option of universal transverse mercator and uh, here on, on on the bottom on the taskbar let's say uh, you will see a number 30 and then the list of coordinate of north and easting this 30 means the the zone of utm so we are using the zone 30 let's verify here okay we are in 30 north now we will we, we have to do the same for these points because if we want to export this these points into into autocad drawing um, this point will be displayed into wrong into wrong places so to fix this we we ha we have to go to data management tools projects and we have to project this file from non project coordinate system which is directly from uh, ellipse wgs84 now we want to project this into let's project into kml geodatabase and let's say stadium oops. and as the output coordinate system i am gonna choose the uh, utm 30 north depending on your data of course as i said before you have to check into google earth about the right coordinate system and uh, we have to we don't have to choose any geographic transformation because we are on the same uh, on on the same system so we are in always inside of uh, wgs84 because if we want to change an, into another coordinate system we should we should specify the geographic transformation okay let's apply it now okay here we have now we we can remove these other files and these are the the, the the stadiums and if if we check the now the coordinate system this these systems will be projected into utm zone 30 north and now we are ready to export this file into also into AutoCAD drawings uh, this is this is all for this uh, this is all for this tutorial i hope you th this is well, this was quite uh, fast and easy i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe and to give me a thumbs up see you in the next tutorials bye